Hello and welcome to my second week of consistent art practice. This week I was able to dedicate about an hour, actually probably a little bit over an hour each day and I was working on something really fun so it I definitely had a lot of motivation to work a little bit harder this week and then I also mostly focused on practicing my watercolor uh, from my Udemy class so I did a lot of practice watercolor exercises that I will share with you guys and I feel like I was able to learn a lot from those as well. So this is a little journal spread that I made about an activity that I was inspired by which is going to the farmers market. So I love going to the farmers market in the summer. It is one of my favorite things to like go and browse and just pick up you know fresh produce, pick up and try new products and so I was inspired to make a little spread about it. I really enjoy making art that's more based on my experiences more so than formal pieces and so that's kind of what this is. So right here I wrote I love to spend my Sunday summer mornings browsing the farmers market. I'm always amazed at the endless options and overwhelming abundance and so I drew like a little pretend farmers market here and some flowers and then I made a little list here of what I would be picking up for the week so it says peaches tomatoes flowers basil and fresh bread and that you know corresponds to everything that I painted here and all this was done in watercolor so up here I have the yellow peaches which I love to get for summer. They are probably my favorite summer snack. So I wrote the quintessential summer fruit slash snack. Nothing makes me happier in summer than snacking on a perfectly ripe and juicy peach. And then here I drew some tomatoes and I was struggling a little bit with the highlight on it. This paper doesn't let me lift paint really well so instead of lifting the watercolor it actually just starts to tear which is this is the first spread I've made in this journal so that's just good to know for the future. And I wrote tomatoes so fresh and delicious perfect for tossing in summer salads and pairing with basil for a pasta dinner. And then here I drew some Thai basil and I said one of my favorite ingredients to cook with it to make Asian food pairs so well with scallions. I can't get this at my local grocery store, only the farmer's market, which makes it such a treat to find. I'm pretty obsessed with Thai basil and yeah, I, I know you can get it at Asian grocery stores. There's just not one near me. So whenever I'm able to find it at the farmer's market, I get really, really excited because I love to eat it with noodles and rice and it is just so, so delicious. And then down here, I drew a little fresh loaf of bread and I just wrote fresh bread. What else is there to say with a little heart? This took quite a bit of work, but I was really inspired because I love the farmer's market so much and I really wanted to document my experience and what I like to pick up from there. One thing I will say is that I don't like my handwriting very much. You can see here that it kind of gets messed up. So I'm going to look into taking a calligraphy class so that my spreads can be even more aesthetic. This is an exercise from my beginner watercolor class on Udemy and the subject here is a little sleeping raccoon on a tree trunk. And for the most part I'm pretty pleased with how this came out except here you can see there's a fair amount of bleeding instead of having a smooth blend so I'm still working on making the transitions between shades and different colors looking a lot more seamless but I feel like I definitely learned from the body that I did up here on the tree trunk. You can't see um, that well on the camera but the tree trunk starts light up here and then gets darker really really nicely here. Um, but otherwise I think the colors are really beautiful and I like how this came out. So this is a piece that I made from my Udemy class and it was focusing a lot on different colors and glazing. So it's a little hill and tree background with an owl in the center. Even though it didn't come out as well as it should have probably, I learned a lot from this exercise. 
One thing is that I'm still learning to be patient with the watercolor. I'm realizing how important it is for the paper to fully be dry, like bone dry, before I try to layer over it because otherwise the paint just gets wiped away. And you can see here there's like a fair amount of bleeding going on. And also I'm pretty sloppy with my brushwork. Um, so just going slower when painting that. But I'm definitely getting better with glazing and color blending, which is really, really nice to see. Thank you all for watching. I hope you were inspired by I was creating this week and hopefully you were able to get some practice in as well. And I cannot wait to continue to improve every week. See you next video.